Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is episode four. Use a gotchan sugar and sneak up behind the mini boss for an easy death blow. Get the mini boss to chase you behind the broken statue's head and then grapple over to the platform near the idol. If you're fast enough, the mini boss will get locked inside the poison. This will take some time, but eventually the mini boss will drop to zero HP due to the poison and then we can go in for the final death blow. Just be aware that the poison wears off periodically, so there will be moments during the fight where the mini boss isn't losing any health. Rest at the idol, then loot the area for materials and coins. Set up a safety save if you're nervous about dying while trying to collect everything. Grapple up to the ledge just inside the tunnel on the left so we can grab some yellow gunpowder and a prayer bead.
Now follow me to the next idol and set up a safety save. We can grab a lump of fat wax in the fog below, but it's guarded by an enemy known as the Headless. If you're quick enough, you can grab the wax and use the homeward idol before things get too dangerous. Stay out of the fog and use the branches to make it to the other side of the area. Grab the snap seeds and head into the next area. Kill the monkeys but avoid the mini boss. Instead, grab the lump of fat wax around the corner and set up a save. Backtrack to the mini boss and wait for him to turn around so we can land an easy death blow. Killing this mini boss gives us another prayer bead.
Grab the ash near the bonfire and then follow the path around the corner to reach the temple. Drop down for a death blow, then follow up with regular attacks to make quick work of the Miss Noble. Grab the Yashiriku Sugar before you leave, then rest at the next idol. Behind the worn down hut is a stash of fat wax. Sell all your coin purses to the merchant and buy the following items. Two anamantite scrap and two treasure carp scales. Go ahead. <laughs> You <laughs> Follow the river to the dead end and grab another treasure carp scale. Don't worry about fighting the enemy. Rest at the idol so the enemy that was guarding the treasure carp scale doesn't chase you into the next area. When you reach Mibu Village, drop down inside the second hut to find more ash. Grab the black gunpowder and gourd seed before resting at the next idol. This trail leads to another mini boss, so make sure to set up a safety save. Hit the mini boss and then get her to follow you down the trail. Oh, you too. How 
How dare you hide Lord Sakuza from me? When she gets far enough down the trail, her AI will break and you'll have the advantage. To keep the advantage, attack her one time, pause, then repeat. Keep this up until you back her into the spot between the boulder and the rock wall. Now you can spam attacks to increase her posture gauge enough to trigger a death blow. Repeat this process to trigger the second death blow so we can pick up a skill and another prayer bead. Grab the lump of fat wax on the right, cross the wooden bridge, and go inside the building up ahead. Loot everything in the area before setting up for the next boss fight. Equip the snap seeds in slot 2, the fistful of ash in slot 3, and set up a safety save. Hug the left wall and work your way to the back of the arena. Once you're behind the corrupted monk, use three snap seeds, seven firecrackers, and enough fistful of ash to slowly reposition the monk near the steps. Now position yourself in between the monk and the stone pillar. You'll be close enough to land the only death blow needed to finish the fight.
Learn the following skills. Run and slide. Suppress presence. Shinobi eyes. Emma's medicine aroma. Ichimanji. Ascending carp. Descending carp. And Ichimanji double. Create the fifth prayer necklace to increase our vitality to 15. Follow the path and grab the shelter stone from the altar, then fast travel to the water mill. Loot the entire area for materials, coins, and another prayer bead. When you're done, fast travel to the temple. Talk to Emma and give her three gourd seeds. I'm glad you've... Goodbye. Fast travel to Ashina Castle. Make your way to the Ashina Reservoir and use the key to open the gatehouse. Inside you'll find a heavy coin purse and another prosthetic tool.
Grab the fistful of ash and set up a safety save when you get close to the mini boss. Sometimes this safety save allows you to skip the enemies, but if it doesn't, here's what you need to do. Slowly move through the area getting stealth death blows until everyone is dead. Set up another safety save in case you have an issue with the mini boss. Sneak up behind the mini boss for an easy death blow, then get him to follow you up the stairs. The goal at this point is to wait for the mini boss to get stuck in the environment as he walks to the left. This doesn't always happen right away, so be patient. Once he freezes, slide to the left until your sword barely hits him in the leg. If you can achieve this position, the mini boss will not move and you'll be able to freely hit him until you trigger the final death blow.
If you have a hard time getting this trick to work, bait him down to the main gate and use the circle strategy to land cheap shots. Remember, he is using a spear, so you'll have to be extra careful to avoid getting hit due to his long range. Now fast travel to the upper tower antechamber, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good.